To the January 6th committee releasing its final 845 page report placing blame for the violence and bloodshed on that day on one man, former President Donald Trump. After an 18 month investigation, the committee detailing what it called a multi part plan to overturn the 2020 election and making several recommendations to prevent it from ever happening again. Here's ABC's chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl. In its final report, the January 6th committee places the blame for the attack on the Capitol squarely on one man, Donald Trump, and recommends the former president never again be allowed to hold public office. No man who would behave that way at that moment in time can ever serve in any position of authority in our nation again. He is unfit for any office. The culmination of an 18-month investigation, the 845-page report, describes the January 6th attack as the culmination of Trump's multi-part plan to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Part of the tragedy of January 6th, writes committee vice chair Liz Cheney, is the conduct of those who knew that what happened was profoundly wrong, but who nevertheless tried to downplay it, minimize it, or defend those responsible. In addition to recommending that Trump and anybody else who engaged in insurrection be disqualified and barred from holding government office, the report proposes changes to the way Congress certifies presidential elections, increased penalties for those who threaten election workers, and several other recommendations. Over eight chapters, the committee describes Trump's plan, from his constant lies about election fraud that his own advisors repeatedly told him were false, to his and his allies' pressure on nearly 200 state-level officials to overturn election results. That effort failed. Trump then turned to his most hardcore supporters. In the end, he summoned a mob to Washington, and knowingly they were armed and angry, pointed them to the Capitol and told them to fight like hell. The report sets forth facts not just for the American public, but for history and for prosecutors. And John Carl joins us from Washington now. John, of course, the committee also recommended that former President Trump be charged with crimes. And the decision on whether or not to pursue those ch charges and to pursue a criminal indictment of Donald Trump is entirely up to the Justice Department. As you know, their investigation, now overseen by a special counsel, is well underway. Wait. All right, John, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.